Alright guys, I'm going to play through Cyberplug again. I was going to do 100% all achievements. I wasted 3 hours doing it. I was at like 27 out of 32 or something. Let me show you. God, I, my power went out and it fucking killed the video, dudes. 28 out of 32. And I was just going through the stages and beating them without dying. And then the power went out, so my video got ruined where you can't like retrieve the actual video file. But I'm gonna beat all the stages again. I'm sorry I can't do 100% achievements because I've already gotten 28 of them. Dude, I'm so freaking aggravated. Oh, I'm legitimately fucking pissed, dude. I literally just wasted three hours of my life. Oh my god, dude. Uh, uh. Bruh, I'm so pissed. I can't believe it, dude. That was literally the worst time in the world for the power to go out. All three hours, dude. I'm so triggered. I cannot even explain. At least this shouldn't, it's not going to take me as long to edit because I'll blaze right through this game, I promise you. It's not going to be long. It's a really good game. The creators did a really good job making it really difficult and... Ah, uh, dude, I hate this so much, because I was, man, I was going to have 100% achievements, and I got screwed, dude. I got absolutely screwed. It's insane. I'm not going to do all the collectibles. You can find all the collectibles throughout the stages. They're not hard to find. There's no point for me to do it, because I'm not going to get that achievement. It's not going to show any of the achievements, bro. I'm so pissed. But yeah, like I said, this game plays like super clean, but they put in enough random stuff that the game's always freaking hard to do. You gotta hold the space key to get your maximum jump. And I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm not sick. But yeah, that's something the game doesn't tell you. Like if you don't hold the space key, you will not jump far enough. So hold the space key. On a lot of the jumps, you won't jump far enough. Um, also, when you get your, I'll show you when we get there. I guess. Bro, I'm so freaking livid right now, dude. I cannot. This is the most frustrated I've ever been making a video in my freaking life, dude. Uh. And if you play through this, like, your ghost is going to suck because when you first play through it, it counts your death times as well. So your ghost is going to be slow as hell. And if you're getting collectibles, it's going to be even slower, dude. And I just got this, uh, the ability to dash. You can use that for your down jump, so you can bounce off the things even higher. And you can use it with the shift to go faster. And it breaks through that glass, so. Dude, I'm so fucked. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna bitch about this for a while. I'm, I can't believe that just happened. Literally three hours, dude, of my life just fucking gone. Three hours of struggle, too. Cause this game was so hard for me when I first started playing. So freaking difficult. Oh my god, dude. Uh, it'll probably save me time in the long run, though, because now I'm not going to have to perfect the other stages like I was doing. And I won't have to edit it for like a year. So, I guess it's good in some way, but not the way I wanted. Ah, uh, dude. Fuck, man. Uh, that's why I hate living out in the country, bro. I hate it. As soon as I get out of college, dude, I'm going straight to the city. I can't stand that shit. I know you get, they can happen in the city as well, but not as much as it happens here. Lord almighty, dude. Uh. God dang, dude. Well, this will be my speed run to see how fast I can beat the game in, I guess. Yeah. 
Bruh! Oh. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. I'm not going for an unkillable run anyways, so... I already did this stage unkillable. This is one of the eight I've already done. My eyeball itch is so bad. Dude, really? <laughs> God, I suck. Crash. God dang, I don't know why I died on that part like 15 times. But yeah, the game's beautiful. The music's pretty dang dope, especially for a speedrunning game. Graphics are nice. But there's certain things... So, this... There's certain parts in the game where the creators make it where things don't play, like, clean. To make it harder, which is kind of cool. But at the same time, when you're first playing through and you're not great at the game yet, it's really annoying. Also, like, they don't explain everything fully either. Like, the fact that you have to hold the control key once you get your enemy jumping ability is not really explained. I suck. Come on now. I guess they just assume that you know a lot of the things, like the space bar thing where you have to hold it. Like, that jump I wouldn't make um, if I didn't know to hold the space bar, and it's really frustrating. Like that first jump on the level one, where you're jumping across the bridge, it like spawns the platforms, and you have to jump all the way across. That's actually a super freaking hard jump to make. Like I almost rage quit the game on the first stage because of that jump. Oof, dude. All my three hours of life back. Even though I, I don't mind playing through the game again because it's fun, but I really wanted to get all the achievements on video. Uh, I wish there was a way to reset your Steam achievements, but there's not. I've looked at it before without maybe getting Valve or getting um, back banned, and it's not worth getting back banned to reset my achievements. Uh, stupid. I messed up. Wait. Oh yeah, I gotta fight the worm. My bad. Oh, I don't want to do this boss again, dude. Ugh. I'll be so happy if I can do this without having to play it a billion times. This stage is hard, dude. But this is an annoying stage too because like his shots he does there are random where they go. So sometimes they'll hit you in a certain spot and then other times they'll hit you in another spot which makes it a little bit difficult. This is a hard part, dude. Oof, dude. Also, they put the checkpoints in places where it's really hard to get through certain parts because you're just like so far away from a checkpoint. It's toxic, dude. Oof, that one back into it. Oof. Okay, this part's hard for me. Not this part, but this part coming up. It's toxic, dude. I died so many times here. But you just do like that and you sprint. Yeah, nice. Okay, so this part can get hard too. Whew. This platform will fall fast too when we get to the end, so you gotta be ready for it. Oh, we did it first try, baby. 
I made that look so... Oh, baby, give me that cube. I made that look so much easier than it is. That's a hard stage. I promise you. I got lucky. Usually the elevator kills me a lot, and that one jump kills me a lot. <laughs> oh. The frog, the final boss is hard too. God, it, the bosses are hard in this game. There's only two though. You'd think there'd be three because there's three areas, but nope. Now I got the ability where you can jump. So let's see if it tells you to hold the control key. No, it doesn't. So you need to hold the control key and that it makes the game so much easier because instead of doing one, oh, I'll show you. Hopefully that thing's still not glitched, dude. Oh, that would suck. Okay, no. I had it where this guy at the top was glitched so I couldn't jump through him, but I had the ability where I could go through the pipes. Oh, I'm glad that's not glitched. Phew. But let me show you what the control key... If you hold it, it does like that. If you don't hold it, you're screwed. You gotta, like, tap it, and then, like, you'll get off trajectory, and you'll go flying into a hole or something. But sometimes if you hold it, it's set up so you go flying into the hole anyway, so... I fucking missed that jump like an idiot. What am I doing here, dude? And there's little things where just like how I wasn't jumping high enough there. Just little things that can throw off your play so hard, dude. God damn, I can't believe I suck so bad at this freaking game. Well, I don't suck at it anymore. I can't believe I lost my playthrough. I was complaining about sucking at the game earlier, but that's not my complaint now. The complaint is I freaking had to restart everything. Bruh. And those things suck your energy. There's an achievement where you let them suck all your energy. I figured that out as well. Like, almost every death in this game has an achievement attached to it. So, just a heads up. Oh, he took my energy! That jackass, dude. I'm gonna have to restart anyways. Come back down, platform. How's oh, it going? Just stay up there? Also, that makes the game hard as well. The platforms decide to stay up at, like, random-ass times. And it can really throw you off. Really throw you off. Like that. Sometimes it won't stay up that long, to be honest with you. Okay. Like, most of the times... I don't know what causes it, but sometimes it stays up for a short amount of time, sometimes it stays up for a long amount of time. Ah. Uh. Oh, fuck you, dude. That's another thing, when you're doing your unkillable runs, you don't... It's really hard to remember what the stage looks like half the time. And that will get you killed. A lot. Like that one little part would have ended my- I did that one where I didn't die already anyways. I might do the stages um, that I didn't do originally because I can still get that achievement. Just to show that I did it, but damn dude. I would have really liked to have all the achievements on my playthrough so you guys could see where they're at and that they all- Well, you know they all work, but just so you could see where they were at and how I got them. But. I don't even have to do all the stages on it. Well, yeah, I want to do all the stages so I can show you guys a full playthrough. Plus, I can say this is my speedrun attempt. Also, you guys don't get the initial reaction of me playing through the game, which sucks as well. What the f Dude, that was a glitch. That was a super glitch, dude. He's not supposed to grab me there. See, that's what I'm talking about. These things don't work as intended all the time, and it's really frustrating. 
scared to go up that like that shit, dude. I think it has something. No, it, because it does it on the frog boss too. I was about to say I think it might have something to do with the camera, but I can't be the only reason it does that. Easy. I don't think I even died on that one. I cannot run away from the pain. Oh, I guess I finished every level without dying. No, I didn't. That glitched for some reason, because I did not beat all the levels without dying, but I guess I did. That sucks, dude. I'm so frustrated. God dang. I don't know why that achievement glitched, though, because I didn't beat all the Area 3 stages yet without dying, but I guess I got the achievement. Huzzah! God, he's glitched. Oh, you suck. I think he's glitched anyways. No, he's not. Some of them do glitch sometimes, though, or they freaking... <sighs> okay, I need to not pick up a collectible. Oh, hell, I can't do it on this stage, that's for sure. Lord. That might be a hard achievement, not picking up any collectibles on stage. Because it doesn't count if you've already got them all. That doesn't count as not picking up a collectible for whatever reason. That's the part. That's the part where you can't do the jump optimally. Like, they did that on purpose to kill you, so you gotta, like, not hold the control key. Kinda funny, but it's... One of the ways they made the game more difficult right there. I fell for the... <laughs> fell for it anyways. <laughs> funny. Look at that. I've never done that before, but cool, I guess. Oh, this one's hard not to die on, too, because these damn boulders start falling. And they try to do that right there. That's how you die. <laughs> that got me so many times when I was doing that on a no-death run. That got me so many times, bro. Ugh. I am. Oh, this is also how you get one of the achievements right here. Stuck though. No, God, we'll just tell how I'd probably fucking just throw the game. You bitch. Come on, dude. But yeah, if you ride him, that's an achievement because you got. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Stupid glitches, bro. There we go. Also, because it has a red shield on it, doesn't mean necessarily that you're going to hit it. Did I do stage 7? I don't even know what stages I've done, dude. Oh, we'll see. Can't even tell. Yeah, I've already done this one. God damn it. Dude. Okay, we're on stage 8. Oh, that's ruining my speedrun time. I don't have that ability yet. <laughs> but yeah, riding one of those uh, airplanes, there's an achievement where it's like, don't touch the ground or something for seven seconds. That's the easiest way to do it. I got that on accident.
Oops. Ah, I suck. Oh, you said you defeated my worm to prepare to die. I didn't hear that the first time I played through. That's cool. <laughs> You've defeated my worm. Prepare to die. The music in this game is super banging, dude. It is really loud, though. Oh, dude, get off me. There are speedrun achievements in here, but they have, like, a huge, like, window. They're not super hard, to be honest with you, which is nice. You got a lot of room for error. It's not like the game developer's like, I played this as fast as I could. See if you can beat it. Like, nah, dude, you beat me. You made the game. How am I supposed to beat you at it? Like, for real? <laughs> like, for real, dog. Out of energy like crazy. Also, moving is what gives you energy. Moving without using abilities. How you do that? Big play, yo. This part killed. Me. Oh, my bad. This part killed me a ton when I was trying to do this one. Invincible as well. Nice. We're done. All right, we got all the abilities now. Ugh. Can't wait to do the frog boss, that'll be fun. So these last three, like the area three stages, I didn't practice as near as the other ones because I haven't done them on, without dying, except for one of them. The speed run one on the area three, I did without dying. Wait, I don't need to go that way. I need to do this. Boom, baby. Level nine. One of these stages you had to be in like two minutes and it was super easy. I don't remember which one though. Where the hell am I supposed to go here? Oh, duh. Duh, huh? Oops. Nice. Oh, you asshole! Oh well. You got me, boys. That's like what I'm talking about with like not knowing the stages is the most deadly thing in the game. This might be one that you could do. No, I don't know. It'd be hard. Maybe this is one to do without getting any collectibles, though. No, you gotta get those. Unless there's a different way to. I'm an idiot. Gosh. Hopefully I'll get one stage where I can do it without the collectibles, so I can get that achievement. Even though we're not doing an achievement run anymore. Oof. I don't have enough energy. God dang it. What am I doing, dude? I don't have the energy. Give me energy, dude. There we go. Nice. 
gone. New record. Boy, that was toxic towards the end. I didn't save up enough energy or something. That was toxic as hell. Only two more, well, one more level after this one and then the boss. Bro, that holding control thing is so clutch. They really should explain that a little bit so you people don't struggle as much as I did when I first played. Oof. Oh yeah, I got through those. Haha! <laughs> I don't have enough energy. God, that sucks, dude. Ugh. Play yo, is that me? I don't have enough energy again. <laughs> Are we done? No. Soon though. Oof, Alfred. Fuck! I should have boosted. My bad. Well, if I was trying to do that without dying, that would have been it right there. But yeah, that would have been a restart. Something that the creator should put in the game as well is a restart button, so you don't have to go to the lobby every time, because that gets really annoying. Going from like lobby to area, lobby to area. So I only died once on that stage. I could have totally done that without dying. If I knew where that was. But I don't have to because it gave me the achievement for some reason. Okay. I can do all the ghost ones off. Off. Um, off video. Because I'm going to get all the achievements anyways. But if I can't show them, there's no reason for me to do them on video. Oh hell, my bad. Why can I not do that? There we go. Jesus, dude. I'm totally gonna go back to my first save though, because <laughs> the the ghost timers were so much slower on it. Like for real. Hopefully it doesn't like move my ghost timers from one save to the other. I doubt it does, but if it does, that'd suck. Because I've been blitzing these stages. God, I, I cannot explain to you guys enough how much the control holding thing is OP. I might do the collectibles one on, like, no collectible stage on the video. I don't know. We'll see. Just because I'm not sure if that's going to be a hard achievement or not. For some reason, it won't let me go there, that guy. Oh, I didn't have enough energy. Oof. Dude, ah. Uh. Oof, finally. Lord, dude. Oh, I didn't even see the bouncers. I was like, where in the fudge am I supposed to go from here? Oof, dude. 
I'm assuming it's got to be one of the earlier stages you can do without getting collectibles, because it's... Some of these you have to get the collectible. I don't know how you wouldn't. It actually have to be stage one, because you start with collectibles, dude. I'll probably have to restart. Oof. Oh wait, my bad. Dumbass. What am I doing here? This was a fun part of the game. Even though I died a dumb dead. Yeah. Pretty fun part though. It killed me a lot when I first played through too, because if you go off camera you're practically dead. Sometimes you go off camera and then you're not dead, but it like keeps you alive, but you can't move and it doesn't restart the stage. No way, dude. I killed that dude. Done, son. All right, now we gotta do the boss. Ugh. Alright, I'm gonna play through this boss for the fourth time because on my last run, <sighs> I freaking had my achievement thing up over the freaking ending cutscene like a moron. Like the biggest freaking moron in the god dang world. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I am so mad at myself. One, the power goes out, kills my 100% achievement run. Freaking, I struggle with the boss on my second playthrough. And then, I'm a stupid freaking moron, and then leave the shift tab thing open over the damn ending cutscene like a stupid... Oh, bro. Oh, baby. Oh, is that him? The biggest idiot known to man. Me. Can you believe it? I hate this mill platform because it decides to stay up at random times. Like sometimes it'll stay up for a long time, sometimes it'll stay up for a short time. Short times suck. God, I suck. I suck at this game and I'm so mad at myself right now. But what you want to do on this phase if you can, let's get up here and make the jump, please. Get up here. Usually you want to hump this wall. I'll show you on the next one when it actually works a little bit better. But yeah, use the shift at the end of your jump. That oh my god, is that him? Is that him? The dumbass of legends. Oh, fuck me. Ugh. That's what I'm talking about was like, you have to hold the space key a certain amount of time because that jump shouldn't be hard. But if you don't hold the space key right, it will fuck you in the ass all night, dude. It's so freaking annoying. I'm so aggravated. Oh my god, I suck at this game so bad. Ugh. Okay. Uh, I was out of energy. I was like, why is my shift key working? Well, simple, dumbass. It's because your stupid ass didn't run around enough to get your energy up. Sorry for the language. I'm just so frustrated right now. I'm so pissed at myself. Alright, watch. This is how it's supposed to go. No, it's not. It's That's not how it's supposed to go. God dang it, dude. That's how it's supposed to go if you're a freaking idiot. Oh my god. Mm, so mad at myself right now. I suck at this game, by the way.
Oh, I made it. All right. I'm not going to make it. So this is where you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be up here before the phase starts. If you're not terrible at the game like I am, you should be hugging this wall because he can't hit you here except for with those little laser beams he shoots at the end. Nothing else can hit you. I can't even wait to do the control part because I know I'm going to mess that up a billion times. But yeah, once you get to the end of the ramp there, right when you get off the ramp, you want to hit the shift key and then you want to try to land on the platform that's on the other side. Like so. And then you want to make this jump somehow, like that. And then you're already here, dude. It's already done. But if you suck at the game, that doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen for you if you suck at the game like I do. Jesus. Oh my dude. I am so frustrated. And these are so much easier to dodge when you can go up and down on the wall. So much easier to dodge. Alright, here comes the other hard part. Oh, I about missed that and I would have freaking lost my biscuit, dude. Oh, hell. Ooh, hoo, hoo. So ideally, you want to make your way up before, way before this phase. Like right here. And then, you don't want to die here, if you can help it. And then you need to get up there. This is a hard part, though. Oh, I did it first try, baby. Oh, my God. And then this game's over. If you can get up here, unless you mess up terribly, you're safe. The only thing that can hit you is those little beams. As long as you dodge the little beams. Getting up here is a lot harder than it looks. This I died on this like 50,000 times. The run before this, which is a run that I had already beaten it, so I should have known what to do. But I couldn't get that control right. Oh, bro. It was so painful. Alright, let's not die like an idiot to the little lasers. Yes! We're done! It's over. And it's over. You just gotta wait for that thing to drop. And then you drop down and you control all the way around him and he's dead. Bud. Oh, let's go, dude. No! I missed! Why? Is that not... Is it glitched? It better not be. Bro! It better not be glitched, dude. Why is it not dying, dude? <laughs> this is so fucking I'm gonna have to do it again because it glitched this is the worst okay you just gotta go around the right go around the right uh, don't go left I won't shift tab like an idiot this time and ruin the whole ending cutscene god dude He's so cute. <laughs> so cute and so angry. Angry like me. Beautiful game though. I'll show you guys how to turn it in English too because it starts in Spanish. Creators did a great job with this. It, um, the more you play it and the more you understand it, the easier it is to play. But, man, it can be frustrating. It can be really frustrating because there's a lot of little random elements like that middle platform on the final boss or any of those platforms like that where you sprint and it knocks them up. They stay up for a random amount of time, it seems. Sometimes they'll stay up for a long time. Sometimes they stay up for a short time. And that makes it really difficult to, like, judge certain things. But this game is great. Uh, but, yeah. You go here. English. It'll be in Spanish, so English right here is where it'd be. Hi, right, guys. Thanks for watching, as always. Sorry I can't do a full achievement or speed run because I'm an idiot and I mess everything up. But, well, the full achievement thing was my power going out. But the speed run thing was my fault. Alright guys, bye!